this is how I got here. Um, I got into acting by just going for a modeling audition one day and I met a guy who was on tinsel and he just looked at me and he said, oh, do you act? And I'm like, oh no, I never, I just do commercials and I guess that's acting, but I won't call myself an actor. So he got my number and that was how our friendship started. And then one day I was in my hostel in Unilag and he called me and was like, what are you doing? So there's this thing, just come, let's see how it goes. I'm not sure, I'm not certain that you're gonna get the role, but come and try. And I'm like, why not? And then I went, it was on Do Good Sets, Mnet TV series Do Good. And then I went and I got picked for the role. And that was how my acting career started. First of all, when I went for my first audition, it wasn't planned. But before I went, I prayed. Um, I told God, if this is what he really wants me to do, he should make it easy for me. And I know some people don't think prayers work, but prayers work, trust me. Because after my first audition, it didn't take me long. I mean, I know I'm a free-spirited person on set. Like, I'm very friendly on set, down to whoever, you know. So another thing that helped me in getting my second major audition that got me my breakthrough would be communication with the crew. I'm not a diva on set. And it was by a recommendation that I got my second audition from a crew member who you would never have thought would mention your name somewhere and they'll just be like, okay, send her an email and let's see. And that was how I got to know about Hush Audition. And I went for it and I got the role. I was very nervous. <laughs> I was nervous. I mean, I'd already started modeling, so it wasn't like it was new being in front of the camera. But the fact that I was supposed to work with Kate Henshaw, who I always thought was a, you know, star, and I always looked up to, would always watch her growing up. I was a bit nervous by that. But then I got it over with. I, I got it done. I got encouraged by the people there. They knew I was nervous. But then they just wanted me and I was good and they, then they picked me. After my first audition on Do Good, and then I started going for auditions, I didn't always get a no, to be honest. I always, I was, for some reason, I was always picked. For some reason, I have no idea why. I don't, I don't think I'm the greatest. I don't think I was so experienced. But for some reason, I was always picked and I kept my relationship with a lot of, the, a lot of people I worked with. And it was easy. I won't say it was 100% easy because there were times that, I mean, I went for a tinsel audition and I was under the sun for so long and I got a call back, but I didn't get on tinsel. So that discouraged me a bit because I'm like, what did I do wrong? And well, ever since then, I, I still kept on going for my auditions. I kept on going for auditions because I knew this was what I wanted to do. I've always been the type to be social. I've always been the type to want to be in the spotlight. I've always been the type to have passion for acting. I just didn't know how to start. And um, my mom was very supportive. She, at some point, started getting upset that I would leave school and go for auditions. But then after a while, I learned to balance it. I learned to balance it, and it was support from family kept me going, and my determination. When I got the email for the Hush audition, I was, I was like, who knows me? Like, where is this email coming from? And then I was really excited about it. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know... I was, I just, at some point I was like, should I go? Should I not go? I was talking to myself a lot. And then I had a friend who said go. And then I went, I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell my mom. I didn't tell anybody. So I went for the audition in Ikeja. And from just stepping in front of the camera, I was shaking. <laughs> I was really nervous because we had a lot of the eminent people there. It was like, because usually I, all these eminent people don't have to be there when you're going for auditions. But they were there that day. So I was a bit nervous. They gave me a script. I read it. It took me, I was in the bathroom for a long time. I was trying to get into it. And I came out and I did it. And I got an applaud there in the audition. And I was like, okay, does this mean I have the role? 
<laughs> I wasn't sure. But it was great. It was so encouraging. I, my, my ego boosted up 100% from the reaction I got from people there. And, and, that, and that was how I got the role. I prepare for auditions by going on the internet. Monologues. I watch a lot of monologues. I read, because sometimes when you go for auditions, you're asked to just be you, like do something, let us see, amuse us. And I do, I go on internet, I watch monologues, I learn from actors. I learn every day. I don't, there's nothing that you tell me that I say I know, because I like to learn. So I watch a lot of monologues on the internet. I read a lot of books about acting. Well, if I'm given a script, I prepare for that role. I read the script. I understand the character. I talk to myself on how I want to portray this role. I mean, what can be in the script can be a different perspective you have. So I speak to the director. I try to have a com I, ha I try to have a, a relationship with the director. I speak with him. Okay, this is how I think I want to play this role. And then if he thinks or she thinks, oh, it won't work this way, we come to a compromise. And I read my scripts. I watch movies that have a bit of connection with my character. And I learn from that. Um, I faced some challenges being an upcoming actor. One which is not even being listened to based on the fact that I'm upcoming. Most people, some directors, producers, would not want to listen to you if they don't know you. Some would not want to even hear what you have to say or want to see what you have to offer if they don't know you, if they've not seen your face somewhere, if they've not seen your work. So that, that, that was a bit of a challenge for me. And then the only way I could break through from that was to prove them wrong. I can do this. If not, that would have been a major challenge. There are sets that I've been on that I didn't get a certain kind of encouraging treatment from the production, from fellow colleagues, from crew members. There are times that I feel like an upcoming actor, like I'm treated like trash in the sense that nobody cares about anything about you. Nobody wants to know if you're all right. Nobody wants to know if like, how, 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 how do I explain this? There are times that I'm on set and I feel bad by the treatment. And sometimes I cry actually. And I'm like, God, please, I can't wait to be a star. I want to be a star. <laughs> like I want to grow in this industry. There are times I've been discouraged by treatments on sets, but I have never ever thought of quitting. I've just been a bit discouraged. I've never thought of quitting because if you quit, then what are you telling the people who are looking up to you, being an upcoming actor? I got a bit of recognition from Hosh. I didn't know how much recognition Hosh got until I was upset and I went to the mall and I got people stopping me, Vina, 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 or on the road driving, I get people driving behind me, following me into Lekki, trying to stop me in traffic, in the club, in, in restaurants. I get recognition from all these places. And it doesn't make me proud. It just makes me want to do more. But then after Hosh, I was thinking, God, what is going to happen now? Am I going to just sit at home? I'm not gonna work. I even called my mom. I'm like, mommy, I'm scared. I'm worried about this acting thing, am I going to sit at home? But after Hush, it became even more interesting. I, I've, I, have, I don't think, I can count how many times I've gone for auditions. I've not gone for auditions like one and twice. And I've been working a lot. I've been, uh, there are times that I can't, I even shuffle two sets at the same time. It's been an amazing journey so far. And then also being in school, also it took a bit of my time so i was working i didn't have to wait too long at home for the next role i had scripts waiting and yeah 
first of all i love to learn i don't think there is any knowledge that is a waste even if it's something that i knew before and you're telling me again it just reminds me so i still open my mind to learning so i learn i learn i learn i learn and i learn from directors actors myself the internet the internet is your friend i learn acting wise and in my personal life i have role models my mom is my role model she i i she's my role model for her strength and her urge for success regardless of the stumbling blocks that were there so that's my first major role model and in my acting industry i have i have a couple of a couple of veteran actors that i look up to that i've been watching as a kid and till tomorrow even if um i don't get to work with them i look at them and still want to be like them and the reason being um i have um role models that have to shuffle because i know it's not easy being a mom being a wife and being in the industry it's difficult i know i'm not married but i have an idea of how difficult it would be having to go on set for a long time having to get back to your kids having to meet up to their needs having to meet up to your husband's needs i have role models who are married but can still balance the sheet and keep their family intact so that 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 i have role models for in the acting industry i'm in the process of self actualization in the sense that i'm in the process of determining who i want to be i'm still in that process i'm not going to say oh this is where i am or this is where i'm going to be i know that i'm very hard working i'm very ambitious i can be too ambitious for myself so i know that i'm going to be very successful i want to be successful i'm working towards being successful it's not just about saying i want to be successful i'm working towards being successful i'm living my, i'm living my mind to being able to learn things and I'm, I believe with all this, I'm going to get to a point where even me, as I sit here, I think, oh, I'm going to get to a certain level. I think I'm going to go beyond that level in the acting world, in my personal world, in my life as an entrepreneur, my life as an actor, my life as a woman, 